Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here with a video here today. It brings a brand new video on pretty much how to break down esports announcements, esports scoreboards, and pretty much give you guys a whole bunch of tips, tricks, and ideas that you can run away with and hopefully just learn a whole bunch of stuff in today's video, especially if you guys are new to esports, you want to join into it, and uh, just give you guys all like the traditional kind of tips and tricks. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today. Of course, if you guys did, leave a like on the video, and that's all I got for you guys. Enjoy! All right, homies, so let's go over one of the most effective and traditional ways to lay out your announcements or your scoreboards for your esports teams. Starting off with showcasing some ideas to actually lay out your pictures. Normally, if you guys are just working with one picture, this is one of the best layouts to actually start off with. Given that this layout makes it very easy to put some other information on the opposite side. And if you guys are beginners, it's honestly super, super easy to do. All you have to do is make a new layer. Then on your new layer, press M on your keyboard for the rectangle marquee tool. Now, of course, just click and drag to make your rectangle. And since the color that we're filling in does not actually matter, this rectangle is just a mold, we can press Alt Backspace to quick fill a color inside. Then right when your color is filled in, you can either right click deselect or press Ctrl D. Now all you guys have to do is take your picture and clipping mask the picture to the rectangle to have that shape be what holds your photo. And just like that, you do pretty much what half the community does already. Now although I only showcase using a rectangle, you can also use a pen tool to make really fun and random shapes that could be a super awesome way as well to make a mold for your pictures. Whether if you go crazy or not, you can simply just make a random just one little zigzag and that alone can really help set a tone. Because now you guys have something that can be really consistent in other designs to really help solidify a really cool branding element. So nothing is really off the table, it honestly just comes down to your design vision and your ideas at the end of the day. And just a food for thought, your pictures within these shapes doesn't have to be the final all end all. You can also throw in some really cool textures on overlay or just soft light or whatever you guys want to see fit and it can really help you what identifies the branding a little bit further. Now, even though having a photo in a shape is a cool option, of course, having a cutout of a player is also a method I use a lot. Now, when using cutouts of players, you want to make sure you're sizing photos appropriately to the space that you're actually given. So, in something like this 1920 by 1080 document size that I'm in right now, be sure your player photo isn't too small and it comes off awkward because of the space you fail to use. Once you guys end up finding your centering though for your photo, you can move on to some really cool ideas that can help fill some space even further. The first idea is taking a cutout of a game character that of course is tied to the player or the talent that you have possibly in the design. Now with the character cutout, you can place it behind the first photo of the talent in a way that helps direct viewers to what game the scoreboard or the announcement might be about. You can also add value as well by going under adjustments and selecting a gradient map. Then with your gradient map, you can clipping mask it to your character photo and make a very simple gradient like black on the left and a color on the right side of your choice. This idea can help tie in the color scheme of a team that you're designing for, but also help suppress the game character from taking too much attention away from the player. Now, if you're not into showcasing a game character or really doesn't fit your composition, placing shapes behind your players can also really help incorporate the color scheme of a team that you're designing for. Whether if it's one shape or multiple or even text written out behind the talent, any of these ideas can really help push your composition just a little bit further. Now, one of the last things I want to finish about cutouts is when you have one selected, go to filter and go to camera raw filter. Here is where you can color correct your photo to make it look a bit better if they need adjustments. Personally, I think messing with the shadows and highlights and whites is pretty much all you have to worry about when you're just starting. One thing to mention though that is super cool is using texture in your photos to get a more aggressive or toned texture look within them. Of course, it might not be everyone's style, but texture and the usage of clarity right below it can be a super dope combo to get away from the soft photo look. Now, depending on the skin complexion of the photo you might be editing, orange is probably something you're going to be changing a lot. What I like to do is go into the luminance table with the orange and just put it up just a little bit more. This will generally help the actual face or the skin complexion of the person be a little bit more brighter and easier to see, depending on of course changing your shadows and your highlights and your clarity and your texture, pretty much everything. This will pretty much help the face of the person or the skin complexion be just a little bit more brighter, just so you don't lose too much of the skin's texture. Then when you guys are done, if you guys choose to use clarity and texture, it can come up with a really cool aggressive, more kind of fun looking, just like, I don't know what it is, it just looks pretty good, maybe it's just me, but hopefully you guys see it too. So to close this out, let's talk about how we normally lay out text in an announcement. Pretty much drawing back to my bad graphic design series, you want to make sure the most important pieces of information are the biggest size. Whether if that's telling the audience you have a match day versus another team, or one of the players might be going live, or maybe you're welcoming a new player into a team. Either way, to make it easiest for yourself, just break it down like this. The most important info on the graphic is the main text. This of course can be in a really cool, fun, more heading type of font where if the viewer were to get a quick glance at the graphic, they already know what the graphic's about. Then for things like dates or supporting information, that is what you put as the subtext. For other cool things to include, maybe adding descriptive or random information type texture, maybe where you add player names of each person in a photo, 
or fill people in what game they're actually playing. Honestly, anything goes, a simple text layout, a cool font, dope color scheme, a cool texture idea, pretty much is all you really need in order to create a really cool branding idea just to get off the ground. Take it from me where I pretty much built two different brands now, 100 Thieves and LA Thieves. They realistically, there's not that much different. It's just reconstructing how you put your type, a different font, and just thinking differently and creatively how you can lay things out. The quick moral to that story is pretty much don't overthink it, have fun with it, and you might come out with something you really, really love. And with that being said today, friends, that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully you guys can take some information you guys gathered in today's video, take it into Photoshop, learn some cool things, just kind of go over some really fun things and just find some really cool branding ideas for your own esports team. Or if you guys, like I said, if you guys are designer trying to get into it, um, esports scene is a really freaking dope scene as it is pretty much exactly where I reside and where I plan on staying as well. So um, yeah, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. So HQ out. You gotta get to keep smiling. Keep, pff, I, just, I totally whipped that one up. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud of guys. Later, much love, peace.